Hi everyone, welcome to 343 Labs. I'm here at 343 Labs with Laura Escade. We're very happy to have her here. Hi Laura. Hi Max, how are you? Great, we're doing great. And uh, Laura is here with us uh, tonight for the Ableton User Group and she's going to be presenting her live set uh, that she's performing in New York. And uh, we're gonna do a little interview and she's gonna hopefully share some of her tips and secrets about uh, how to mm -hmm do different things with music technology. Yeah, do all the things, the controllers and the devices and stuff. That's, that's <laughs> right, so let's get into it, Laura. Um, I've got some, some questions here for you on my, on my phone. All right. So let's start with, uh, what exactly does a live set uh, designer do? Okay, so what we do, it's actually a live show programmer, music programmer, music uh, playback engineer, other terms that we are called. Uh, so it depends on what kind of position you're in. Oftentimes, you know, we act as the liaison between the musical director and the audio crew, and we perform and we edit all of the different music that's being played back in the show. So anything that the band is not performing live is played out of Ableton Live or another DAW. And we're in charge of editing those tracks, doing vocal effects in the moment, doing keyboard sounds, you name it, all across the board. So it just depends on the artist and the show, it depends on what they want, how big they want to go, how technical they want to go. But it's basically our job to uh, tack all the gear, set up all the sounds and the music and time code for the lights and the video. And sometimes uh, on the design side, we'll design the uh, controllers and the stage setup for an artist that's going to be controlling everything themselves on stage. Okay, that sounds very complicated, but very cool. Uh, who are some of the, I know you've worked with a lot of big artists, uh, mm. who are some of the, um, some of the artists that you, some of the bigger artists that you've worked with and some of the ones that we might have heard of? Okay, so you might have heard of this guy named Kanye West. Maybe, possibly, like, yeah. Some people might have not have, like my parents have heard of. <laughs> um, but I toured with Kanye for six years and I've worked with a bunch of different artists, like Cirque du Soleil, you know, theater stuff, American mm. Idol, the TV side. Very diverse. Um, Herbie Hancock. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Weeknd. Very nice. A bunch of different artists. That's yeah. awesome. And what are, what is like one of your biggest challenges? What what's a big challenge as a as a live set designer? So, yeah, probably one of the biggest challenges is communication because there's so many different people, mm -hmm. and if the organization isn't really solid as far as um, who is reporting to who and who's in charge and what the artist wants and what the management wants and what the audio engineers want, then things can just really fall apart. Mm -hmm. So I think communication is the number one challenge, just figuring out what everyone wants to do and collectively because oftentimes you know we'll be working on something for like a whole day and then the artist will come and be like, that's not what I want. Yeah. Like, ah. Or the management will say, well, that we can't do that because we need to do this. So, um, and technically, you know, the sound engineers, sometimes they can't um, do something or uh, they want to do something more, but then the artist doesn't actually rehearse. We have no time to try it out. And we have all these elaborate plans and then they, they don't come in rehearsal. They don't come in rehearsal and then it's like the show. And so you have to really have to scale back on all this cool, fun stuff that we have planned because we don't have time to like rehearse it and test it out sure. with the artist. So, I think those are some of the challenges. I mean, there's tons of challenges, but those are some of the main ones, I think, is just communication and, um, yeah, just learning how to communicate with a big group of diverse people. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, and tell us about your your uh, show here in New York and on, on tour, uh, the, the show that you're working on right yeah, now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm performing at National Sawdust, which is a dream. It's such it's an amazing, amazing venue. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm performing my Unreal Gaming Engine AV set. Yeah, what is so that? it's uh, basically like you know VR. Okay. Uh, there's uh, this Unreal software uh, that is used to create worlds in VR. Mm. And my friend Scott Pagano created a world for me that can be projected. And I'm controlling these objects and elements in this world with my violin, with my controller. So every time I play a note on the violin, different things pop up. Every time I play a note like on the push or my rolly, uh, things pop up. 
And so it's like the first kind of interactive sort of audiovisual set that I think I've seen in this way. Um, there's there's stuff going on out there for sure with you know Breslum, some of the other, these other apps, but with Unreal, it's like cinema quality, real time animation, and it's just incredible that. How big is your to... screen? <laughs> the one that you perform with. Well, I I just would like to perform. Well. With National Sadas, the yeah. screen is the entire... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah the yeah, whole yeah. wall that's is amazing. the screen, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's going to be huge. Oh, it's gonna I be mean, amazing. generally, I just like to Fully play immersive. with whatever the venue has. Yeah. Hopefully, it's big. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, okay, million-dollar question. What's your favorite controller if you had to pick one? Oh, my gosh. I would have to say the push. Okay. I mean, it's just so versatile. Yes. There's so much you can do with it. I mean... Yeah, if I could only bring one controller to a desert island, it would be the push, for sure. Okay, yeah. great. Um, and do you have any tips or advice for up-and-coming artists, performers that are trying to make it uh, in the music industry, especially in this age where the music industry is changing so quickly? Any, like, advice? Mm. Find a mentor. <laughs> Find a mentor. Yeah. Go to a school, like okay. what you got here. Learn okay. about stuff, you yeah. know. Okay. Um, yeah, take courses. Just learn under people. Just really, just immerse yourself in it. Like figure out what you want to do. Like your why. I would say. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, myself included, I went to college and I was like, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. And more and more, I started honing in on who I was as a person and my why and why I'm doing this and what I want to do. And as, through that process, I just kind of kept distilling into more and more of focusing and being really intent on what it was I wanted to do. So anyway, just learning from people, discovering more about yourself. Um, yeah, I have a few programs that I'm offering um, through uh, my website and also through my company, Electronic Creatives, for people Great. that want to learn more about how to do solo live performances and people that want to become playback engineers or live show designers. So, um, yeah, I, I recommend all of the above. Okay. Just learning, immersing yourself. Yeah. Great, great advice, Laura. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think we're getting close to finishing. Um, do you have any, either Ableton, because I know you like using Ableton, or just music production tips in general, like if you had to pick like one tip that you fall back on that you think is like, a handy tip for young producers to know mm. or that you want to share with young producers? Yeah, just learn one thing at a time. You know, sure. just pick one thing and just learn it. Like, read the manual, learn, learn every little thing about it, and then don't move on to the next thing until you've learned that one thing. You know, because then you'll become a beast of that one thing. Okay. And it's just incredible to see someone who's like really mastered that. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Awesome. Yeah, thank Thanks you so much. Thank you so much, Laura. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, I really look forward to uh, seeing the performance tonight and your walkthrough at the Ableton Music Group. Uh, thank you so much for coming, and then we also look forward to your performance on Saturday at National Soul Fest. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys, and we will see you soon. This is uh, Laura Escudé and Max Wilde at 343 Labs. See you soon. Ciao.